Hey guys, it's Bryant with I Have Comic Issues, and I just want to hope everybody has had a happy holiday so far. Um, uh, Merry Christmas, and hope you have a good New Year. Been very busy. Um, I I work for a package delivery company, so it keeps me rather busy this time of year. So I do apologize for not uh, uh, providing any uh, videos lately. Thank you for all the subscribers, subscribers that we've had so far for the channel. Also, thank you for all the likes and comments. It's really fun to uh, interact with all of you. Uh, so please take a moment to uh, like this video, comment on it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. That'd be great. Uh, today, I'm going to do a short little video. I picked up a... I went to a bookstore today, and they had a mystery box of comics. And it was for $30, and you get 50 books. And it says it has a value of over $50, or a value over the $30 in the book, or in the box. So, for this video, I'm going to open up the box uh, for you. And let's look and see what I got. And then at the um, end of the video, um, I'll cut and then uh, look through and see if there's anything or that <clears throat> any significant books in there that I might have missed. And I'll let you know. All right, so let's uh, open up the book. Oh, open up the box. Okay, they are just randomly put in here, but it wasn't shipped, so that's okay. So these comic books are from all uh, publishers, Marvel, DC, Independent, and they're from, looks what? <coughs> no, excuse me. It looks like they're from the uh, 70s, or not 70s, or there might be a um, couple of 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000 books in here. So if I, um, um, please uh, let me know if I uh, miss talking about a key issue. First one we got <coughs> is Tales of the Legion of the Superheroes, issue number 300. Right there. <clears throat> then we got Conan, issue number 128. Most of these are in pretty good condition here. Uh, DC Birds of Prey, issue number 8. Blackest Night, uh, the mini series from DC, issue number 5 of 8. We got Conan the Barbarian, issue number 230. Got a little tear down here. Not too good there. Then we got Black Lan or Green Lantern, issue number 158. Right there. And there were 50 comic books in this box here. Then we got Green Lantern's Green Lantern New Guardian, issue number 38. And the New 52. And then we got Green Lantern Core. Issue number 28. Pretty cool looking cover there. Got Green Lantern. Issue number 9. Looks like it's a Guy Gardner book there. Pretty cool. Then we got Green Lantern. Issue number 75. Right there. And then we got Green Lantern. Issue number 40. Right there. Pretty cool. And like I said, I'm going to... At the end of the video, I'll... Let you know if I got any keys or if I had any luck with that. Uh, we got a uh, Batman Detective Comics issue 946. <clears throat> and then we got Batman Detective Comics issue 973. Then we got a Batman and Green Lantern, uh, looks like a trade, um, The Poison Tomorrow. So that looks pretty cool. This one I've never heard of. It's called Arc. It's volume two, issue number one. So, never heard of that one. Then we got an image comic book. It is at number one. It is number one. And it's a Archimum. I don't know. Please let me know if you know anything about this one. But issue number one. Then we got Avengers, issue number 375. Right there. Pretty cool cover. Then we got Avengers West Coast. Issue number 101. 
right there. And then we got uh, continuant continuity comics armor issue number twelve. Okay. <clears throat> the other just like a couple of reprints maybe, uh, but this is Avengers two point one. Looks like it's a reprint. Uh, Death of the Stranger. <clears throat> and we did, like I said, we did have some older books in here. So we got uh, Avengers 229 right there. And we got the new Avengers issue number 60. And we got Cable issue number 22. Looks like he's got Shatterstar on there with him. And then we got another Conan the Barbarian, issue number 228. And another Conan the Barbarian, issue number 218. And then we got uh, DC's uh, Blue Beetle, issue number 16, right there. And this is an image comic. Oh, sorry, we might have a couple of those. Dooms 3, uh, issue number 4. I don't know anything about this one. And got some more uh, image. We got DV8 versus Black Ops issue number three. And then we got image Defiance issue number three. Okay, this is from Virgin Comics issue number uh, Debbie. No, uh, issue number seven. Got Dark Horse, uh, DPRD, Hell on Earth Monsters, issue one of two. Looks like a little two issue mini series with Cowboy. We got a DC uh, book here is Time Masters, issue number six. And then we got Time Masters, issue number five. And then we got Blue Beetle, issue number 14. Then we got Exiles, issue number 50. And we got X-Men, issue number 19. I think this is from volume two. And then we got uh, Image Comics, DV8. And this is issue number 13. And then we got DV8 again, issue number three. <clears throat> and then we got DV8, issue number 10. And then we got Max Comics, Dr. Spectrum, issue number three. And then we got DV8, issue number 12. And then we got DV8, issue number 14. Looks like they're clearing out their DV8 collection here. And then we got DV8, 15. And then we got DV8 number six. <clears throat> then this is Double Take Comics, Honor number four. So, and then this is Malibu Comics, and this is Dinosaurs for Hire, issue number ten. And then we got uh, Darkness versus or Image Comics Darkness versus Pit. Issue number two. I don't know what this is. Uh, Disenchanted. Yeah, I don't even know what issue this number this is, but Disenchanted. Then we got Dark Horse Comics, Division 13. And it's, it says it's week one, so I'm guessing that's issue one. Then we got Death Blow, issue number two, and Cybernary, issue number two. So, check that out. Then we got two copies of Deathmate Prologue, right there. So, those were the 50 comic books that I picked up for. Uh, $30, and now I'm going 
going to check and see um, if I made a good purchase or not. I'll let you know. All right, and we're back. Okay, I looked up all the books. Uh, it was 50 altogether, so it took me a little bit of time. Um, and it does look like that if I could sell all the books, I would actually re recoup my money, which isn't a lot that I have to recoup. It was $30 for all 50 of these books. Um, and I'll start off with the lowest ones. Uh, I'm not going to go through them again, but I'll just show you the lowest ones first. There was 37 of them that uh, would probably be $2 or less, $2 to $1 uh, per book. So right there, that's going to be anywhere between, uh, <clears throat> say, 37 and uh, 37 to $50 right there. So that's really good. That gets me, that covers the cost right there. Then I had, <clears throat> and I'll show you these. These were the books that should be around four dollars or four to five dollars, but we'll just say four dollars roughly. We had <clears throat> the Batman Green Arrow Poison Tomorrow, that was one. Batman uh, Detective Comics issue 946. Green Lantern issue number 40. It is a first print. Conan the Barbarian, issue number 228. Sorry, I have been a little sick trying to get over this cough. Um, Conan the Barbarian, issue 218. Avengers West Coast 101. Uh, this is Dooms 4, issue number 4. And I believe it actually might be signed... By somebody right there on the headband. Uh, don't know who that is or whatnot. Don't really even know if that would bring very much to the value there. <clears throat> and then armor issue number 12. And these all have a value of right around four to five hours. So that's going to be anywhere between a uh, fair market value of about 32 to $40 for these eight books. So that's pretty good. And then we had five books that had a fair market value of $8 or above. Uh, but we'll just say $8 to be conservative. <clears throat> then we had a black lamp, or, and I had, I was using the uh, cover price uh, website to uh, find the FMVs for these books. Uh, first one is going to be Blackest Night, issue number five. And then the next one is going to be X-Men, issue number 19. And then we have uh, Avengers, issue 229. And then we have, this one surprised me, don't know anything about it, but it had a little bit of value to it. Honor, issue number four. And then we had... The Darkness Pit, issue number two, and this is the cover B, and it was worth around eight dollars. So, <clears throat> got five books here, and they're roughly around eight dollars or a little bit more, but eight dollars be conservative. So that's forty bucks right here, which would cover cover the cost plus some. So. If I can, if I can move these books, then I will actually uh, take care of the um, cost of this uh, mystery box, which was pretty cool uh, to uh, have this to uh, show y'all and share with you. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of everything. Um, please uh, follow my Instagram channel. I have comic issues, and uh, also. <coughs> Maybe when it slows down a little bit more after the new year, I do plan on trying to get back on whatnot and try to do some sales there. So who knows, you might see a few of these books on there. We'll see if I can move them. Uh, but um, once again, this is Bryant with I Have Comic Issues, and I hope you do too.